you do that? Why would you do that, bro? Bro, why would you do that, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You hit up, man. Chaotic situation in New York as police officers were looking to arrest someone there, and then a woman rolls up, interferes, and then there's a severe blow to her face that sends her to the ground, as you see there. And of course, people immediately point out what the hell's going on. So, okay, so it's hard to see exactly from that left side as she was in the middle of the, the altercation, what it is that then sent it to that point. But um, here's a bit of a slower down version. Maybe you can see Lee. She did shove him in the arm right before he then retaliated. Watch again. <laughs> So um, the woman has not been identified, luckily. Uh, but also the officer, people did. It's easy to see who he was. The officer wore a badge and precinct number associated with Detective Kendall Kinsey. He's a neighborhood coordination officer in Harlem's 32nd precinct. Uh, when reached by phone on Wednesday, Kinsey told the Daily Beast that he was very much aware of the video, but he couldn't comment. He did look pretty um, aware of how bad that looked once he saw the cameras in his face. But also there were serious charges that they were looking to uh, to figure out and maybe even arrest someone on. So according to NYPD, the Harlem cops were originally seeking to arrest a man being sought in connection to an attempted murder. Pretty serious stuff. Uh, the spokesperson said that multiple individuals at the scene of the arrest interfered by physically assaulting numerous officers, some of whom were arrested. I feel like that's something that generally tends to happen. I'm not sure if the uh, punching someone in the face is part of it as well, but also, um, this cop has a bit of a, a, a sketchy record when it comes to things like this. Kinsey, he's worked for NYPD since 2005, has a history of six complaints listed in the database held by the Citizen Complaint Review Board, ranging from the years of 2014 to 2018. And the CCRB is New York's independent police watchdog organization. Now, two of these complaints were substantiated or found out to be true for a discourtesy and abuse of authority. Seems like pretty generic, general, uh, generic yeah. things that happened. But also the NYPD did not discipline Kinsey on the first count, but they did on the second. Um, more of your thoughts on this. Uh, and as we, geez, uh, you, you asked for not sad stories off the top, but <laughs> when you see someone just get thrown off the ground, like bounced off the ground from being struck like that, it's hard to think that was the right thing to do in that moment. No, and, and I hope that she's okay, right? I mean, she took a really big fall um, and I hope that she like doesn't have a concussion or like isn't bleeding or whatnot. Right. We don't know what happened, but it is interesting to see the ways that a community will rally behind someone, you know, it, and and how antagonistic cops are treated because they have lost all respect from that community. And yeah, maybe right. they're trying to find a murder suspect. That is serious stuff. I'm not saying cop work isn't important work, but there's a reason why people are like not accepting you trying to serve whatever warrant you're serving. It's because you've lost their respect long ago. And if this guy had six counts of other complaints, here you got number seven. I mean, JR, my question is, at what point? Yeah, I said we need oversight, but like then what? <laughs> you also need yeah. accountability and consequences. And that dude, I guess, was disciplined. Was he paid for a vacation and worked a desk job for a few weeks? Because he's back out on the street. Yeah, actually, you know what? This last uh, graphic here, uh, graphic five says, neither Kinsey nor the NYPD said whether the officer who struck the woman is facing any disciplinary process for this thing. He was disciplined for the other stuff, from one of the other two things from before. We just don't know. Um, a lot of times, you know, as you said, the desk job will happen or the investigation will go in and we're like, no one's talking about this anymore. Okay, there you go, buddy. Get back out there. You're good to go. And this is the whole thing. It's like cops are amazing because I mean, you're like these. They're supposed to de-escalate situations, right? Mm -hmm. Does that does any of that look like it's de-escalation at all to you? If you if you take a little shove from a woman who I don't know looked like to be 90 pounds, what do you do? You're a big cop. You got guns. You're strapped. Nothing. Nothing, right? Just let it go, because that's not what you're there for. You're not there to push and punch yeah, people. Fights. You're there to maybe find a murderer. Yep. So do your work. We, we expect, you know, we see altercations, domestic violence things. We expect if a woman is attacking her husband, boyfriend, whatever, and is physically swinging on him and stuff, we expect him to shield it and keep it away and not engage in a full-on fist fight. 
But we don't expect that from cops. Just saying. <laughs>